Welcome everybody to a surprise episode of the effing title. It's episode 118. This is the draft. Mock draft time is here. We're Fedge. We're Scratchy. We're me. We got the whole gang here. We're going to do this mock. We're going to get it going. On the clock. To start the draft is Fedge with the Jacksonville Jaguars. All right, here we go. This is probably the first year, okay, in forever... Mr. Irrelevant gets drafted number one overall and not last. Okay. It out there. <laughs> no, seriously, though. I, I think, in my opinion, the Jaguars should trade out of this position because you're not going to go after um, one of these top uh, skill positions, I'm going to say. Mm -hmm. And I think their uh, big position is either between O-line and D-line. And I think they have spent a lot of money in the offseason to try to work around – um, their quarterback and Trevor Lawrence. So I am actually going O line, the number one pick here, out of Alabama, Evan Neal. All right. I think you got it. I, and I still, I mean, I think we talked about this last year. I still think, even though Jamar Chase had a phenomenal year, I still think this is where the Bengals should have gone. Obviously, they proved me wrong because they still went deep into the playoffs. But you got to protect you the guy back there and if you really think trevor lawrence is your guy you gotta protect him you got you gotta protect him gotta protect him all right so, all line number one overall let's go all right so with that for the first time in a little while an offensive tackle going one overall rob is on the board with the detroit lions a pick number two so if if it actually goes this way and Aiden hutchinson is available that's probably who they'll take just because local yeah. boy, everything mm -hmm. like that. Andy's a good player. So if, if Aiden Hutchinson goes first, then I think they will take Evan Neal. I also think the Lions will listen to every single phone call about being trade trades and everything um, to try and collect more capital uh, as they just have so many needs. Um, but with it the way it is right here, I will take Aiden Hutchinson. Aiden Hutchinson, edge rusher from Michigan. Gotta love it. All right. I'm now on the clock with the number three pick, the Houston Texans. And the Houston Texans, um, I think they're in a great spot here because they just need everything but, but an offensive tackle, really, at this point. So, with that being said, I think they kind of get a choice here, the best player on the board. So, I'm going to go with Ahmad Sauce Gardner, corner from Cincy. I like it. I hate, I hate you, but I like it. I it, it's 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 a it's a it's a solid pick. It fits a need, and like like I said, they can go anywhere. But the thing is, is that like I feel like they can get better. There's going to be more people available at 13, where a player like Gardner would not be available at three. See, I think I think the Texans will be the first team that actually pulls the trigger on a trade. I could see it as well because yeah. because there they will. will... Be, there will be a team called the New York Giants or the New York Jets that will try to get right up in front of them, and will be willing to give up a lot of picks to try and get Sauce. Yep, I agree. I agree. I, I think that, that like they're in a great spot to trade out of. So, um, But at pick number four, it is the New York Jets, and this is Fedge. So I think the Jets will be happy with him falling here. We've heard uh, multiple uh, issues with his uh, work ethic, I'm going to call it. Um, but I think you have to go, and I mean, he, he's fallen still a little bit. Um, I would have loved to have Gardner there. But with him gone, I think they go with Edge Rusher from Oregon. Kayvon Thibodeau? Yep. Is that how you pronounce it? I yep. think it yeah. Kayvon Thibodeau. So that's where I go with the Jets' first pick. They have so many first round picks that they're going to be able to get their guys. So I, I, I also think they could be a person to potentially trade up to go get their guy mm -hmm. um, later in the draft here. Um, later in the first round, I should say. But I, I think that's where they go here. Okay. okay. Um, I, I, I like it. Um, at number five, it's the New York Giants, and this is uh, Rob. So, the Giants, this one's interesting because 
they they have one week from today, from the draft night. They'll have one week from Thursday to decide if they want to pick up Daniel Jones's fifth option. Oh. Fifth year. If they don't, then he will be playing on an expiring contract. And if they don't, then one of these two picks is probably going to be a quarterback. I think they will pick it up. So I think it's going to come down to uh, completely overhauling that horrendous offensive line they have. Mm-hmm. It starts with taking uh, Charles Cross. Okay. Interesting. I like the choice of offensive linemen as far as taking offensive linemen. I don't know if Cross is going to be that guy. Don't worry, unless someone's <laughs> taking uh, taking the next one with the next pick. They will be getting the other one. <laughs> so, so this oh, that's that's what I was about to say. So, with that happening, with with Evan going first, Cross going now, I think the Panthers are in a situation where they they almost can't get a quarterback right here. With a lot of people saying they can, the Panthers are at six. I'm picking this. Uh, seeing the way the board is going to go, I feel like this is that like this is going to force them to have to take Ikem Ekwonwu. Oh, I hope, hope to God I'm saying yeah. that right. You are saying it correctly, but there's zero chance that they take him. Um, <laughs> they, Matt they, Rule loves him. I heard it. You heard it here first. They, 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 yeah. they, they, they like, like I said, they need line. Line is a need of theirs. Quarterback is also a need of theirs. I just don't, I don't see them waiting because, like you and me were talking about earlier, there's a huge drop off here. You know, and maybe Sam Howell's available in the second. It depends on what QB so is. The, the, I guess the reason I say that they won't take him is because their offensive line is actually pretty good. Mm-hmm. It's their quarterback that fucking blows. <laughs> so I don't so, think there's, and there's one way that they don't draft a quarterback, and that's if before they get to pick six, mm-hmm. they've already made a trade to get Baker Mayfield. I mean, that's fair. I like. I think, I, I think their running back sucks more than their quarterback. The running back being injured seven million games a year is a big reason yeah, why you struggle you can on go, offense. You can go get a running back in the fucking fourth round. So, so, so my, I'm, not saying, so my, I'm not saying to draft one. I'm just saying I think Darnold could be a lot better with consistent play. I mean, mm-hmm. you can't tell me that you know their offense line. I mean, there's times where Darnold is dropping back. And he was getting hit before he even hit the back. There was, the there was, there was a so, lot of stuff that I read saying that like the, their biggest need is is just OT. It's OT and then quarterback. But then the whole like all the like description stuff was all about QB. <coughs> but anyway, so now it's pick seven. The New York Jets are up. Ekwon who's off the board. No, they're not. The Giants. Giants. Are Giants are up. So Rob. Well, then they're going to go to the other side, and if if he actually falls this far, they're going to be the happiest team in the world. Uh, Trayvon Walker. Trayvon Walker Edge from Georgia. Right, is the Edge or D tackle? Not Edge. Not Edge. He's a nose tackle. Okay. Nose tackle. Yep. yep. Georgia. All right. He's a th- technique. So at number eight, I, 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 that's yeah. If he drops that far, they're fucking giddy. Um, at eight is the Atlanta Falcons. The Atlanta Falcons basically need fucking everything. Um, Except for a flex tight end. Yeah, basically, yeah, Ford literally. Quarterback, he's a stud. Um, <laughs> you know what? So he's a, he's a stud. He's a stud. So originally, I had written down on my piece of paper, best player available, right? <laughs> um, they're getting another flex tight end. Let's go. But you know what, though? At this point, looking at the board... I'm gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna pull I'm gonna pull the trigger on this. Um, I'm gonna go with fuck it. We're gonna go Drake London, wide receiver from USC. I like it. I like it. You know that offense definitely needs more receivers. Seeing as Calvin Ridley doesn't know mm-hmm. how to not bet against his team. But Zacchaeus is a stud. Let it go. Um, I was, I was honestly, I was thinking about maybe going cue the quarterback there and getting the first one off the board, but this, like they, no. Um, nine Seattle Seahawks, and this is Rob because we know how much love Rob loves the Seattle Seahawks. 
Oh, yeah, just duh. <laughs> so, yeah, our mock draft is a shit show because there's no quarterback that's been taken yet. But mm-hmm. uh, let's see. I think, but real quick, before you, before you go, I honestly don't think there will be a start of a quarterback run until one of these – teams trade out yes i agree i agree i think that's the thing is i i think we're good with where we're at with these picks but until someone trades in and then that just f's it all up the rest of the way i think i think as soon as we see maybe the giants if if it gets this giant's second pick then teams will start trading up for a q yeah so for the seahawks here i've got Going back and forth between two people, mm-hmm. okay. Um, obviously, they need they need a lot. I I don't think they're gonna draft a QB early, but I do know one really big hole that they now have to fill. And I've seen this guy in mock drafts go as early as pick seven, and I've seen him go as late as not even in the first round. Um, strictly because of his size, but when it comes to talent, he's probably the best at his position. So I'm going to say they need to replace Bobby Wagner with Nicobe Dean. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Right. It was either him or the corner, um, Stingley, but Stingley, yeah. Yeah. I, I just feel like this is a more pressing need for them, seeing as they've literally lost the dude who made 150 tackles a year. Yeah. So yeah, that's yeah. I agree. That's that's a good. That's a, that's a good. That'll be the first uh, kind of surprise pick. I don't know if it will be Nakobe Dean. I just like him a lot more than the other linebackers. That's fair. Because the dude, the dude can literally run sideline to sideline, and Pete Carroll loves linebackers that can run. Fair. Uh, I dig it. At number ten, it is the New York Jets. I I think. Jets try to make a splash play here, and what I say is the best receiver in the draft. Okay. Um, I think they are going to be kicking themselves because they missed on uh, people the last couple of years when they could have drafted receivers up high and instead settle, settle for guys like Denzel Mims. Um, uh, this guy is still my number one receiver, even after tearing his ACL in January. Mm-hmm. And we're going to go with Jameson Williams, wide receiver, Alabama. So interesting. What? So interesting. Why? To hear you say that he was their best receiver when a lot of people didn't think he was the best receiver until Mechie tore his ACL. Well, I don't think he's their best receiver. I think he is the best receiver in the draft. But (laughs) Mechie... I think think Mechie Mechie can be... Draft. What? Mechie is also in the draft. Oh, I know. I'm not saying he's he's better, better. I just better player. He's got more potential, in my opinion. And the Jets. That's why I'm saying the Jets are going to take a leap on him. He's way bigger. That's for sure. Exactly. Um, you need that guy that's going to go. You know. So. Especially where Zach Wilson can throw it a mile. He needs a burner. So. Get it. So here. We, so. W- at number eleven, it is the Commander Washington. Uh, the yeah, the Commander Washingtons. The, the Commander Washington. Washington. <laughs> the Washington Commanders, and I think that they are smiling ear to ear right now because they've been working so much on that front of theirs that now they get to work on the back end a little bit. And we're gonna go Derek Stingley Jr. here. Okay. Okay. The uh, the corner from LSU. They've, they've been putting us so much time, like so much draft stock and everything into that front line. The back end is just not there. I think this will start to solidify that defense a little bit more. So at 12, it is the Minnesota Vikings with Fedge. We have a trade. <laughs> I was saying we have a trade. The Saints, the are, Saints are trading up. <laughs> The Minnesota Vikings were hoping Stanley falls to them. <laughs> and unfortunately, he did not because of a guy that just took him. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're back to the drawing board here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I don't want to reach, but I might have to reach. So now I'm thinking... I'm going to go with the second D-lineman from Georgia, the great state of Georgia. 
Jordan Davis. Oh, you son of a bitch. I think it might be a little reach. I don't know. I think he's a big impact player, could help him out. But I really wanted to go back end with him, but he's told my guy, and I think uh, it's too early for that next round of uh, of uh, corners to go, in my opinion. So, Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I am up next with the Houston Texans. Um, we went with, uh, who do we go with? We went with Sauce Gardner to start the draft. And I think that they're going to continue to go defensive here. Um, to try and slow down some of these other teams now. And I think that, yet again, another team potentially smiling uh, ear to ear. Um, if I can fucking find his name now. Um, so I spell it fucking right. Um, because this guy's been flying up the boards. So the fact that he's still on the board right now, I think that they are fucking ecstatic. I'm going to go with Jermaine Johnson the second from Florida State. The edge rusher. Yep. He was the okay. third. Maybe he is the third. On on here is his second. I'm just gonna write Jermaine Johnson then. Fix that shit right there. Um and then the next pick is the Baltimore Ravens. Which is also they need my an pick. Quarterback. Um Don't forget, forget about that. So there's two here that with the way that our board's going, there's two, and I think it's gonna be between the two of these. And I'm going to go with the one that I hope it is and not the one that I think it's going to be. I think that they might go Kyle Hamilton here. I want them to go Trent McDuffie, though, and add another corner. After the last year, we're seeing how badly our corners got hurt and then how much we struggled at corner. I think McDuffie adds a solid third to the already, the the, uh, the backfield there that we have. Um, and in this position, I, I, I disagree with Jeff, and I think Trey McDuffie is in the first echelon of corners, and then it drops after that. He's right there. He's close. That's, that's why I'm going he, he there, though. He disagrees with a lot of people, then. <laughs> so the next pick... I disagree with Colin does. <laughs> uh, the next yeah, pick Colin, is... Colin's disagreeing with a lot of people if he thinks he's in the first echelon of corners. Um, the f uh, next pick is Fedge, 15... Philadelphia Eagles. So Philadelphia. Born and raised. Philadelphia. I spent most of my days, you know, chilling out, maxing, relaxing on full. Anyway, I think we're going to go with another receiver here because why not just shove him off the board? Because <laughs> no one's drafting any quarterbacks here ever, you know, because like I said, no one's trading up. So. It's going to be one of the boys from Ohio State, and I am undetermined on which one it is. So, I'm hoping you guys didn't say it yet, because like I said, I've been uh, going in and out no. here, but... What? No, no Ohio State guy. We're going Garrett Wilson, then. Garrett Wilson. All right. I dig it. Apologize, guy. All right, so Rob is next on the board, and he has the New Orleans Saints. Is this going well, to be – is it going to happen? Will, they will be the first team to take a quarterback, I guess. Boom! Because if Malik Willis has fallen that far, then Malik Willis will be the answer in the Saints. He can sit a year behind pick six Winston – and learn how to run the ball with Taysom Hill. It'll be a great fit for him. <laughs> I like it. First Done. first cue off the board. Um, at 17, it is the Chargers. And I am picking for the Chargers. Um, apparently, the Chargers need O-line wide receiver and edge. Um, Wait. Did you just say the Chargers need edge? That's what that's that's one of the things that I read, and it doesn't make any sense. It was more talking about the back end behind. No, I agree. I, I don't think Bosa or Khalil Mack are good either. That's a thousand percent what they need is a good edge rusher. The the site was <laughs> the, the site was saying that like behind those two there isn't a whole lot, so they might look to get some more. That's why it was the I, third I always, thing. I always look for second stringers on my first. Um, so I'm big, going to big fan of I, second string players. <laughs> I love it, bro. I love uh, it. I'm going to go with the other Ohio State wide receiver and Chris Olave. 
And uh, that's Olave. Who... Yes, Olave. Olave. Yes, Chris Olave. Um... Olave. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Um. He might be the first receiver taken. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah. That's why I said his name right. Um, Olavi, you know, the guy who dropped, who is 100 percent responsible for Ohio State not making the championship game two years ago. Um, okay, so now we have uh, Fedge on the board with the Philadelphia Eagles' second pick. So now the better question is: What? What? Do we need? what? Trading up. <laughs> Tr- trading them all. There's them better all. trade. The Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles. <laughs> <people. laughs> yeah, because they're going to trade within division. You're right. Good call, Rob. I like your thinking. Well, if the Eagles are going to get a second-round pick for it, why not? They're going to get the safety from Baylor, Jalen Pitry. Oh, you're going to take him over Kyle Hamilton? I am. Ooh. I, am. I like him. People are really afraid of that four seven speed. Where? First <laughs> you know, because they're supposed to be really fast. Playmakers. I'm, I'm trying to find this guy on my on my list here on my board here. He ain't he ain't there. <laughs> he should he, be. He's a projected second rounder. Nope. Nope. Not in my board. We're who J, who JT Woods? Yes. Woods is the only safety for from Baylor, I think. Yes, is that who you're talking about, Fedge? Or no, why? I'm so confused. Who are you talking about then? Jalen Pitry, P I T R E. Pitry. Pitry. No, Pitry. No, Pitry. I'm telling you, it's Pitry. <laughs> Pitry. He's a corner. No, he's nope. safety. He was, he was safety. I was, he was corner, but he moved to safety for okay. the yeah. Yeah. He yeah. played corner and projects as a safety. Well, so so on the side I'm looking at, it said corner. That's why I'm like I'm looking through safety. Like what the no. f- like? I should have let you know that. <laughs> All right, Jalen Petrie to the Philadelphia Eagles. Next on the clock is the second pick for the New Orleans Saints. Tyler Linderbaum. Uh, love it. Love it. O lineman from Iowa. You gotta love the love fucking it. Iowa boys. Tyler Lindenbaum. Gotta get protection for Jameis, you know? For Jameis? I thought it was for Malik. Yeah. No, Mal- Malik's sitting for a year. He's gotta learn how to throw interceptions and learn how to run. <laughs> <laughs> At pick number 20, it is the Pittsburgh Steelers, and this is Fedge's pick. Desmond Ritter. Before all the others. I was just about to say that. Why? You don't like it? Desmond Ritter's coming home. I don't think they'll uh, they'll take Ritter over Pickett, but I do think Ritter will go with this pick. I do. I agree. But Whoever's that's, going I there think, is taking I think him. someone else would trade up to get Pickett. That's the only reason why. Desmond Ritter, QB. Seddon. All right. I, I love our mark drafts. Uh, at, right. at pick number 21, it is Rob with the New England Patriots. <laughs> they There's still a football trade. team? There's been a trade. <laughs> trading back. I'm trying to trade everyone out. Rob doesn't trading want to actually make any picks. Five fourth round picks. The worst part yeah. is, though, is like everything that he says always seems to be like correct, though. Like, that's like. <laughs> <laughs> so. Love it. Honestly, depending on how the board goes, there's really only – there's three possible players for this pick. It's either – the one that I'm going to pick right now is Zion Johnson from BC. Okay. Nice. Yeah. I, like I think that's most likely what's going to happen. But for people out there, the other two are um, – the I guess the other three. The Utah linebacker could also be there. Uh, if, Devin Lloyd. In – Jordan Richards could be there if he drops that far. And the last one is the McDuffie guy. They're really high on him. They've had him in for multiple interviews slash workouts. You don't think they go Wyatt? I've seen him on a lot of Who? A lot of talks Devo- of him too. Devontae Wyatt? No, I, I've heard that they're not looking in the first round for him. Okay. They All are. Right, just but again, I, I think... 
a lot of it's going to come down to if they trade back. If they trade back, then they're obviously getting more second-round picks, and that's why they have a lot of possible second-rounders on their board right now. So don't be surprised if they trade out of this. I think the only way they don't, honestly, is if Zion Johnson is available because they just traded Shaq Mason, and they need a guard that can play there for the next 10 years. That's fair. Um, He's already been playing there for four. So yeah, I know. Right? <laughs> have, uh... <laughs> um, so fifth year option on these rookies in the first round. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, so uh, pick number twenty two. It is the Green Bay Packers. I'm picking for the pack, and you know what? I'm gonna finally, I'm gonna finally do it. I'm gonna give him a wide receiver in the first. I'm going. No s- way! I'm going Sky Moore, <laughs> the wide receiver from Western Michigan. How to draft receivers in the first round? You can't do that. I just did. I just told oh them how to. Goodness. <laughs> um, you, just, you screwed up their whole plan. Rob is now on the board with the Arizona Cardinals. They should draft a QB, but they won't. Um, you know, I, I'm gonna. I agree with that statement. He's gonna. <laughs> so okay. So it's actually kind pick of it, send them, send them. It's shocking that this is not he has not been picked yet. Although I think he will be a horrible bust. But Andrew Booth Jr. Corner. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wait, that's why I'm surprised you picked McDuffie because the consensus I've seen at Baltimore is it's either a D lineman or it's Booth. No, a lot of a lot of a lot of the stuff that I've been seeing recently has been more uh, they're leaning more at McDuffie. I haven't seen that. Um, yeah, no, no, as, we, as we were talking about, though, Clemson just doesn't produce good corners, really. They don't really produce good NFL players, period. But yeah, there we go. Um, nice <laughs> the Dallas Cowboys are on the clock with Fedge. Dallas? Dallas. Doesn't that mean I have two picks in a row now? Yep. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> So I really think they go O line here. I don't really know who I'm going to go because Ryan, or Ryan, Rob decided to steal my O line pick here. Um, give me one second. Let me uh. Roll you think Dallas is going to get another offensive line pick? So <laughs> the what you do is draft line. Dude, so <laughs> dude, they just lost two of their uh, five starters last year. I was going to say pro yeah, fo- pro they football already drafted their replacements. <laughs> pro pro football has it as O line, D line, linebackers. Their three needs. So I'm gonna go D line instead. I'm throwing it off. Okay. We're gonna go because no one's chosen yet. Wyatt, Georgia. Deontay D-line. Wyatt, got it. Yep. So now we got the Buffalo Bills, everyone. We're trading. <laughs> no, we can't. We can't trade. I'll, I'll trade. Yep. Yeah. Right, what t- do you want to trade? I'm the Titans. You want to trade? I'll trade back. <laughs> no. So one trade back. One. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> Kyle, can we do this? No. no nothing trade. No. <laughs> next year. So, <laughs> next year. So, uh, my thing is with the Bills, I really think they're going to move one way or the other here uh, because they will move. Uh, well, let's put it this way. So, if Jordan Poyer gets moved prior to this draft or on draft night, they will stay in this position I think draft one of these safeties. Okay. I don't think he gets moved. Second, I think they are more likely to trade up in the draft to try to get one of these corners if they start flipping until Booth, which, like I said, I don't really – I'm not in love with him, kind of like Rob was saying. Um, that's why I thought you were going to take Booth, Colin, and I was going to be willing to trade up a couple little bit for your boy. Okay. Um, so that's what my first thing is. And then if that does not happen, I think they trade back either close to the end of the first round or early in the second round. And I'm going to draft him right now in first running back on Brees Hall. So we're, we're booking it on there. I 100% agree. What would you say? If they trade back to like later in the first, I 1,000% agree. Oh, I, I agree. I don't, think they, they I don't think they take him here. Yes, I completely agree. But since we can't trade back, that is why I'm still taking him because I, you know, I can't trade up. Fair. I don't think Jordan Poyer is going to go, so I, I think we draft Brees, but I think it's later in the first or uh, early second. So, All right. Yeah. Uh, at pick 26, it is the Tennessee Titans with so, Rob. 
I don't think it will be this player, but I really do think it will be this position. Okay. Kenny Pickett. Okay. I, I really – everything I've read recently says don't be surprised if they take a QB because Tannehill has literally cost them so many games. Your defense can't have nine sacks and you still lose. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it can't uh... happen. So I, I won't be surprised at all if – if it maybe not in the first round, but I, I really think they're going to take QBs in this draft. Fair, fair. Oh, I'm up again. Yep, and now with the now with the 27th pick, it is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and it is Rob yet again. It's the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Tampa. What does Tom want? That's the question. <laughs> what does Tom want? So I think it's going to be uh, one of two players. I think. Um, if they go defense, I won't be surprised at all if they go with another um, edge rusher. Um, one guy that I saw, he's a tweener, though, in the falling into the second round, but the dude from Purdue, mm -hmm. George Karloftis. But I think uh, they need uh, – they, they just lost some linemen. So I'm going to go here that Tom wants to be protected. And they're going to go and get the biggest human being in the draft. Daniel Falale from Minnesota. 6'8", 384 pounds. Daniel Falale. I like it. Is he a... Uh, I don't know what I look like. He's a tackle. He's a tackle, okay. Uh, you better be a tackle at 6'8". Fuck. Well, I'm just saying it because I'm not seeing him on this board here. Oh, Daniel Falale. Oh, yeah, okay, I see him now. Yep. A A L E L E. <clears throat> Daniel uh, Falale. I actually watched a couple of games with him oh, this shoot. year. He he's actually very good. Minnesota. He moves very well for someone that large. So the Green Bay Packers are on the board with their second pick. This is me again. Um, I'm done. No, you got one left. You're right. The Giants are trading back into the first round. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I think you have Detroit at the end of the draft. <laughs> I do. I do. Yeah. I, I would. Do. I would have loved if Rob was like, I, no, I don't. I don't have anyone at the end of the draft. Um, <laughs> um, I want to look at something real quick because I forgot to write down that I had the Packers on my sheet here. So. I apologize. All right, so this is my pick. Um, because, literally, yeah, just be right, he's he's real quick. If I have to read another comment of a Falcons fan telling me that Grady Jarrett is good, I'm gonna lose my fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the I'm gonna go with this pick just because I don't think that um, it is similar. He's fallen this far. This is Kyle Hamilton. That's a good one. Yes. Yep. Literally, literally, this is just this is a best player on the board. He's still there. He shouldn't fucking be there. Boom. It was between him and 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 George. But after looking at the safeties that they George have, Kittle? He's available. <laughs> so now Jeff is on the board with back to back picks with the same fucking team. It's the Chiefs. Who The Chiefs. The Chiefs don't have any picks left. They got two back to back, twenty nine and thirty. Oh, man, I hate you for grabbing grabbing my boy there because I thought he would be a great replacement for uh, Tyron Matthews. So I hate you there. Okay. Okay. I really do. Um, Sorry. So now it's a question of what does Patrick want? Because Patrick needs stuff that no one else can get. So who do I got left as my best receivers? On the board, Robert or Colin. All right, so receivers so. right here. I got George Pickens, Traylon Burks, Jalen Tolbert, Jahan Dotson, and John Mechie, Mechie the third. We're gonna go with Mechie because we can get his fifth year option. Hands washed. Right. Next little replacement for Tyreek, and you can get his fifth year option so he doesn't hurt him to potentially miss some of this season. I'll match you the third. And now, wide receiver. With the steal Al of the draft. Bama. No, 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 no. With the steal of the draft. I'm surprised he's fallen this far. Okay. 
San Diego State, Hunter, Matt Arizia. <laughs> How has he fallen this far? Ow. Ow. Dude, it's dangerous. Put him on the board. <laughs> All right. Colin, first ever punter taken in the first round. Send it. Matt. There is a punter. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't agree State. with it, you're wrong. <laughs> if you don't agree with it, you're wrong. Um, all right, so I'm now on the board with the uh, Cincinnati Bengals, and I'm upset that Rob to- or the Tyler Lindenbaum went earlier because um, that's where Did I was going to go take there. Him? No, Rob, Rob fucking took him. <laughs> I thought you were the one that drafted him. No, Rob took him. Um, okay. So, I'm going to look at just line in general. And I'm going to go with a guy that, like, he he's one of those weird ones where, like, I've seen him, I've seen him, like, early teens. I've seen him late first. I've seen him not even in the fucking first. So, we're going to fucking do this. We're going Trevor Pennon, the offensive tackle from Northern Iowa. <laughs> And I'm just putting O-line because I think that they're going to move him around to make him fit whatever need they have. My punter's still Trevor available Penning. for trade if someone wants him. It's going to cost you, though. Trevor Penning will be the first lineman drafted. <laughs> will be the, fir- the first player in this first round that will never play a single snap in the NFL. <laughs> um, That's a bold prediction. That is a bold prediction, but I love it. Um... So, with the 32nd pick, the final pick in the first round, the Detroit Lions select. Uh, the Arkansas wide receiver, Traylon Burks. Oh. I like it. Okay, I thought you were going to go. Uh... No, people say that he's the best receiver in the draft when it comes to ju- making jump ball catches. Traylon Burks. Wide receiver, uh, Arkansas, you said, right? Yep. All right, there we there there we go, everybody. I shouldn't put a star next to that though, because they're gonna trade it. Because they're gonna trade him. They're gonna trade it. Put a star, a star next to my punter because he's not getting drafted in the first round, but he's gonna be taken. Nope. Nope. They're both. They're both. They're both there. No stars for Boo! either of you. Boo this man. Boo this man. There it is. There's our glorious mock draft. Thank you all for stopping by, watching this. Let us know what you guys think down in the comments. Let us know who you think the steal is going to be, who the best player is going to be, how well we did, how well you thought you did. And as always, guys, you got anything left to say? You know what's going to be hilarious in this draft, though? When none when of I'm them right, get right. right. I, don't know, I don't know if you've heard this. So you know where the draft is, obviously, right? Of course. Yeah, so... In order to get to the center stage where they're going to be at, draft the draft kids are going to have to get on a boat to go. There's no motor on the boat either to go all the way over. You motor boat and son of a. So, it <laughs> takes two minutes. They said it's going to take two minutes for each draft person to get to the stage to take their picture. So there's going to be two minutes. Oh my god! Of absolute dead air time in between every pick. So here's the question: Who's going? Who's going in first? Who's going in the water first? <laughs> that was that was yeah. The first person. It's, it's, it's Rob's six eight tackle that he tried. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if he took his photo and then cannonball. It'd be hilarious. That, I was gonna. I was gonna say. That's why I was gonna say Jordan Davis because that would make sense. Too. Jordan Davis, love it. Um, Fed, you got anything? No, no, it looks good, guys. We're gonna we're gonna get all these right, okay? If you don't think we're going to get them right, you're wrong. There we go. You're wrong. Uh, We'll be here doing this live. We'll be doing the draft live. We'll be watching it, reacting, talking about the picks, talking about all the different stuff that revolves around it. So come hang out. Um, And as always, depending on where you are, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Still trouble, stay safe. And we will talk to you all later. Bye.